in our underfunded school districts. Computer labs often sit empty after school. In the year 2000, tech industry professionals were concerned about the lack of technology education that these kids were receiving and were also concerned about these empty classrooms after school. This is where Kids Tech fills the void. Many people think that kids are awash in technology. They're doing a lot of social networking, they're surfing the internet, they're playing video games. What we try and do is teach them marketable skills, skills that will help them find their place in the Colorado workforce. The kids are getting tech skills, they're learning how to communicate, and they're doing presentations. And on top of it all, we offer this program free to both the students and the schools. We help these kids get the computer skills they need in order to be competitive in both college and in their future careers. When we first started some of our partnerships, particularly with the schools, the daytime technology instructors were very eager to have us to come in. Uh, we had daytime technology instructors from the school day say that they, they had the time and resources during the school year to cover just the basics. We were able to come in during after school hours um, in, in, a, in enrichment capacity and expand on those, on those basic skills and teach fundamental, important computer skills, but in fun ways. Kids Tech uses Microsoft Office products, PowerPoint, Word, Excel, those kinds of skills that will help them get good jobs. They also learn presentation and communication skills, writing skills, problem solving skills, so we use the technology products in order to create a more well-rounded asset for the Colorado workforce. We have our kids engaged through projects. So instead of teaching something like Microsoft Word Lesson 1, Microsoft Word Lesson 2, Microsoft Word Lesson 3, we'll do things like teach a project like um, family history. So in the course of of most kids tech projects, we're not teaching just using one simple computer application. We're teaching the way that, that we use technology. What is the best tool for the, for the particular project? We give them a real comprehensive understanding of technology, and it's all hands-on applied learning. So they know how to present to audiences. They know how to communicate effectively. They know how to work in teams. We help these kids get the computer skills they need in order to be competitive in both college and in their future careers. Hi, my name is Danny. Hi, my name is Cameron and I'm a Kids Tech student. And I am a Kids Tech, a Kids Tech student. Student. Um, we're working on the yearbook now. We made a children's book. Oh, my book was about the first day of school. We take pictures. I use PowerPoint for our, like, our project and our presentation. Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. Excel and we type it all up and put it in the PowerPoint presentation. Put sounds and all that in there. We get to design the cover. And they taught us how to make our own website on there too. They taught me a lot of things and, and they prepared me for the outside world and business. We know how to work it together and get the job done at the end. And look forward to learning new things about the computer. Kids Tech focuses on underserved communities along the Front Range primarily minority students. We work with the full spectrum of K through 12 and mostly Latino students. One of the examples of work that we've done to help one of these underserved communities has been the Manual High School Yearbook. Manual High School is operating on a skeletal staff and does not have much in the way of funding. Yearbooks are typically a pretty high cost for both the school and the students. Kids Tech came in and helped them put together a cost-efficient version of a yearbook, one that only requires the cost of the software program to convert a PowerPoint to a DVD. So we've been able to subsidize that cost and provide this yearbook to the school for free. And it was entirely kid-produced. People always ask me how they can help Kids Tech. 
First of all, we have year-round fundraising opportunities where people really have a great time. We also have opportunities for your company to sponsor one of our sites. And then, of course, your tax-deductible donation is always welcome. Companies and individuals can support Kids Tech by, by sponsoring sites. They can give individual donations. Uh, we can have um, uh, uh, companies and individuals join our fundraising events throughout the school year. We have a uh, fundraising dinner each fall. We have a annual golf tournament each uh, summer. When you really think about it, it's a smart business decision. Investing in Kids Tech is investing in the future of Colorado's economy. and a framework of curriculum. Ah, bah, bah, bah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> ah. And they're just all jumbled. <laughs> Should I just keep going? I need to write computer labs. <sighs> the assumption that, oh, I'm sorry. No. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Do I look at the camera? No, that's not. I can do stupid. <laughs> sure. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. This thing got caught up in my... <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.